Welcome to Taylor and Dr. Brandt's Witchcraft and Wizardry Magnets 101. Hey guys, it's Taylor and welcome back to my channel Taste Tips, the go-to place for skincare, beauty, and lifestyle videos that dare to break down barriers and challenge expectations. Now guys, we're gonna get right into the review. If you clicked on this, it's because you wanna see my review of the Dr. Brandt Magnetite Age Defier. If you are new to my channel, you know that I can never remember the name of skincare products, so I'm reading it off my phone. It is the Magnetite Age Defier Skin Recharging Magnet Mask from Dr. Brandt. I am so, so, so excited to try it. I saw it on Sephora's website, and I mean, it's a mask that promises to keep your skin looking extra tight and plump, and also leaving it nice and nourished and, you know, all oiled up at the end. And to remove it, you use a magnet. A magnet. I don't know how safe it is. I'm assuming it's really great for you. Um, I'm assuming it's safe because they're allowing it to be on shelves, but we're gonna go right into it and start applying it and then I will tell you everything I think about it along the way. The hair is up and back, which means it's time to get the mask on. Now, when you get the mask, you get a few things in the box. One of the things that you get is a handy dandy spatula. I mean, typically when I start using products, I don't really like the applicators it comes with, but as always, I'm gonna like use what it comes with. And the second and very most important thing that it comes with is the magnet. So the magnet is like this little triangle, shout out to my girl Ari for helping me hold everything. Um, but it's this little magnet, it's very small, but it does say that on the website that if you need to replace it, if you lose it, um, that you can actually just go on there and purchase a new one. I would suggest, you know, try to keep it safe. It also says that a great place to store it is actually at the bottom, the bottom of the product actually is magnetized and you can store the magnet there. Now the actual product, you get about three ounces um, of the product and it comes in this really beautiful packaging. Um, and uh, it is $94, so we're gonna try to see through this review if it is worth the price. So that is three ounces for $94. It's not cheap, but hopefully the experience as well as the benefits will be worth it. All right, the instructions say to apply a thin layer of the product and we just opened it up and look at this guys, it's actually, it kind of looks like charcoal or something. I don't know, it looks really cool. Um, but it says to apply a thin layer and leave it on for five to 10 minutes. I never understand why brands say five to 10. It's like, is it five, is it 10? So I think I'm gonna go with eight minutes and then you have to use the magnet to take it off. It recommends and actually it instructs you to not use water to remove this mask. You need to put a thick layer of tissue around the magnet. I don't really get the science behind it, but you put a thick tissue around the magnet and use it to hover over the skin to take it off. And so let's try it out. an eight minute timer. Roger that. T minus eight minutes and count. Okay guys, the mask is all on and in the application process, I take back what I said. The spatula to apply this was amazing. It actually went on super smooth. It feels super smooth and silky on my skin already, so I can see why it probably is gonna feel nice and like refreshed and smooth afterwards. And the smell, it smells like amazing lavender. Um, I know it has essential oils in it, but the scent that's really ring, um, ringing through is lavender. And um, it's been a really good application process so far. I'm kind of excited to see it and really excited to take it off with the magnet. So we have another seven minutes and 10 seconds and then the reveal. I decided to go for 10 minutes with the mask. This is what it looks like before we got the magnet going on it. So now it says to wrap the magnet quite well um, with a thick layer of tissue. So we got our thick layer of tissue going on the mask. And then it says to hover it over the, plate, the face and watch the magic happen. So. Abracadabra? 
Oh, sorry. It's okay. And it was like so. Is it coming oh off? Oh my god, it's coming off. Is it? Yeah, and it's not even touching me. Wait, that's not touching me? No. It feels like it's. It feels like it's. It's like it. It almost touches you when I lose a little bit of control. But like. O M G double H K P. Oh my gosh. What? That's not touching me. No. Shut up. I can feel it peeling. Pulling, yeah, it pulls off. Wait, I don't know if you can see this. This is crazy. <laughs> what? We had to come in for a closer look, but this is crazy. Like, she is not touching my face and it is coming off. Dr. Brandt, I don't know what kind of witchcraft you guys got going on over there, but this is working. <laughs> now it is gonna take some time to get this off, but for unique value and I can't, I'm giving this an, a 10 on the unique scale. It is a bit difficult <laughs> taking it off when you need to change it. It's like actually fighting. There's like resistance. There we go. Whoa. It tickles. I wonder what happens if you get it wet though. That's a good question. Whoa, it tickles. It tickles so much. Magnets round eyes, that's okay. I think so, right? Yeah. It must be. It must be. We have Wi Fi flying around and yep. stuff, so. Like us millennials was that some kind of like build up that's probably so inaccurate. I do look super hydrated though. Yeah. Alright, the mask is completely off and I think it is extremely evident that my face is super moisturized. So when the mask comes off, you are left with this like kind of like essency oily not film, film's all right word, but just hydrated face all over which feels really really nice i mean if you have really oily skin this is probably not going to be the mask for you but i can definitely say the experience was extremely fun it did take quite a while i think that there definitely could be some you know work on the shape of the magnet maybe if it had like a holder or something because it gets very difficult to hold while you're trying to like peel it off turn it around but um it does work the magnet really does like suck the mask off your face, which is so cool and so unique. As I said before, it smells good, it feels good. It's a fun experience to do with a friend, which Ariana is right now magnetizing the rest of it off of her face. Um, but yeah, you're left with these essential oils on your face, so you can go right in and just kind of like rub them in. Oh, mm. the lavender is insane. For people who are new to my channel, if you're wondering why I am rubbing in my face so oddly again, it's because I'm in a wheelchair. I do not have the full use of my fine motor skills, so this is how I go about doing my face. But, you know, skincare beauty is universal, and I really hope to show that continually through this channel, and that everybody participates, so. All right, guys, I guess that is the end of my review. Once again, that was the Dr. Brandt Magnet Mask. For $94, I will say it is a little bit steep for price, but it does work. If you're looking for a mask that leaves you feeling super hydrated, this is definitely for you. I would warn if you have any metal allergies to stay 
far away from this, but for anybody else, I would give it a go. Um, if you have the time, it does say to leave the mask on for five to 10 minutes, but the process of taking it off definitely takes longer. But if you have the time and you're up for something fun and new, then definitely give this a try. And if you want to, I would love it if you hit that like and subscribe button. And until next time, thank you so much for watching. Bye.